Today we're doing a gingerbread house. Wait, no, it's not today. Welcome to my 12 days of Christmas event. Well, a lot of my builds are actually gonna be more regular houses because I've been requested to do less extravagant and more um, homey builds. And I can do that. And plus that can help me give me some downtime, but I can't help it because I like going the extra mile. Once I got more comfortable with YouTube, I've branched out more so with my style, but I still do homes. Like, I don't know what y'all talking about. Y'all was like, my builds are extravagant, but like, I get what y'all mean as far as the builds being huge and can you play in said builds? Yeah, you can play in the builds, but I don't. I, that's why I always advise people, if you want to play in builds like this, please delete unnecessary clutter, um, decor, all of that, because it will slow down your game. And it also gets in the way, especially if I, I like to put a lot of trees in my game. But when I play the game, I delete those trees. I can't see. So delete the trees. And I love flowers. My mom hates flowers because she's always like, Micah, you make, you put too many flowers. It makes it look like an old lady's house. I'm okay with that. I absolutely love flowers. Like, come on. I'm not sure it's going to be my next bill. It may be my last bill, but I'm making the grin, um, or the woo hip, the woo bills. I'm making the Wooville's village currently. Whoville. Woo. Where did I get woo from? I am currently making the Whoville village. And then I will go on to make the Whoville people and so on and so forth. It's going to be fun. I, I had fun. I actually, tomorrow it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun for you guys. But I finished building everything. I have one build that I'm not too pleased with. And I'm not sure if I'm going to actually post it. I may just do another one. But it's just one build and I looked at it and I was like, I'm not getting any joy from you. It turned out very beautiful actually. I made it while I was still watching Merlin and it turned out really nice. Every time I watch Merlin, I get into this medieval vibe and I can't shake it when I watch Merlin. But I tried to stay away from it and I pretty much did really well by staring away. I actually, actually was um, in the middle of watching a movie that, it was a while back. So I was watching a movie, The Cube, I think it's called. That was a good movie. <laughs> I was in the middle of watching that while I was building. <sighs> On to social media. I do not know how people, not, not just social media, but being social in general. I don't know how people do YouTube and are so social. I can't keep up with everyone. I, be, I'm, I really go out my way and try to. And just watching people's videos and commenting, I mean, that's as much as support as you can possibly give someone that you don't know. But sometimes it's, it is nice to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with people and I have a hard time keeping up because by the time I get back to my messages, it's been like a day or two and I don't missed it and I feel bad because I don't keep my notifications on, on my phone because I don't like my phone calling me. Like <laughs> I don't like being, being at the back and call of my phone. So I take, I turn off all notifications except for YouTube and email so i don't get notifications that somebody has talked to me on discord and i don't want people to stop talking to me because i'm not talking to them but it's so hard to keep up because everybody got everyday lives and i'm like super busy how the heavens do y'all do it anyway <laughs> okay today's question it could be a happy or a sad one it is your choice um what is your strongest memory around Christmas? Um, give me your Grinch and give me your happiest. You can give me both or you can give me either or. It's your choice. So for me, my Grinch moment would be <laughs> my family. I love them. I truly do. But whenever we go on my mom's side of the family, whenever we visit them for Christmas, uh, we're the black sheep in our family. They have like real strong traditional ideals about how you should travel through life and my family doesn't my immediate family doesn't like my parents encouraged me to be an artist when I told them that I wanted to paint and draw for a living my parents did not make fun of me they encouraged me but my family um, on my mom's side that <sighs> it's for some reason they encourage music but outside of tradition they have an issue with stuff like that so we're the black sheep <laughs> It is what it is. And every year for Christmas, when we would go over there, we would get um, scarves and hats and gloves um, from the dollar store. That's what they would give us. And everybody else got um, extravagant gifts. I don't know. It was a part of me that, un that looked around and I saw it and it made me feel like crap. But another part of me was pretty grateful to... Um, be able to have a meal and hang out with my cousins and stuff. That was like the best part anyways was hanging out with my cousins and 
having a meal. Nobody was like rude and like in your face disgusting. But you know that nice nasty that people have. Yeah. But I still love them. Every last one of them. So my best memory would be my first art kit I got when I was 11 years old. Um, that was the first house we had lived in from living in a shelter. And that Christmas we got everything that we wanted. And I ended up getting an art kit. And it wasn't like some flimsy art kit you get from the dollar store. No, it was expensive with expensive paints. And I had no clue what to do with it. But I figured it out. And I made a lot of great things. Eventually that stuff got lost after we became homeless again. And that's another story. Jeez, see, my life is kind of pathetically sad sometimes. Jeez, it's good now. But I can I can see I can make a couple of people sad on Christmas. But I do keep in mind that not everybody's Christmas is full of joy. And I think sometimes we forget that. With this situation going on, you know, with the... You can't say the name because apparently you get in trouble with YouTube. But with the situation that's going on currently, people are more so by themselves. And now there's more of an understanding of loneliness. And I'll get into that another time. But... Thank you guys for coming to my first day of my 12 days of Christmas event. I appreciate every last one of you. I love every last one of you. Have a good day. Bye.